Hello, I'm Father Edward Looney. It's noon central, and I invite you to stand, and we'll begin by praying the Regina Chaley. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. To God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. The Lord has truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Mass today from the Chapel of the Nativity, located at the headquarters of Relevant Radio in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Again, I'm Father Edward Looney, and I'm happy to be able to celebrate Mass with all of you today or listening through the radio, or watching through the Relevant Radio app, or online at relevantradio.com. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We come with Easter rejoicing to the altar of the Lord. Let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Set aside, O Lord, the bond of sentence written for us by the law of sin, which in the Paschal mystery you canceled, through the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John, and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then, when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin, and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning, never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, 
for his mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I, I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Though the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Cleanse my heart and my lips, almighty God, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, one of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions, who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through the words of the gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Well, earlier in the week on Wednesday, I preached on the reality that Wednesdays are for Joseph, and so we observe first Wednesdays. It's kind of a new custom emerging out of this year of St. Joseph. Now, of course, today is Saturday. It's not a first Saturday, though. That was Holy Saturday. But why is it that we honor the Blessed Virgin on Saturdays? Well, St. Thomas Aquinas says that we honor Mary on Saturdays because she was the one who believed in her heart that Jesus would come back, that Jesus had not left them, that Jesus had not abandoned them. She had this staunch faith in what Jesus preached and in what he taught and in what he promised that just as he had raised others from the dead, that surely he himself would rise from the dead. So it's because of Mary's faith, her ready belief, that we keep Saturday as a day in honor of the, uh, in honor of the Blessed Virgin. And, in a sense, it was that holy Saturday last week that perhaps Our Lady drew near to the tomb and there wanted to be close to her son, who was there laying in that place. What do you do when you grieve? St. Mark today in our gospel tells us that Mary Magdalene went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping. It's probably the right reaction, of course. They followed Jesus for three years of their life. They befriended him. Jesus knew everything about them. They shared everything with him, and now he was gone, and it kind of looked like everything that they believed was shattered. They were mourning and weeping, maybe, yes, because of the loss of Jesus, that he had died, but maybe, too, mourning and weeping over the fact that they abandoned Jesus from the cross. Mourning and weeping that they scattered instead of being like John the Beloved who was there at the foot of the cross. It's interesting in these early days of Easter during this octave, we've been hearing from the Acts of the Apostles. And what caught me today, you know, this, this uh, seventh day, this or eighth day rather of the octave, observing the boldness of Peter and John. 
John the Beloved and Peter are close collaborators, and we remember that John was entrusted the care of Mary, so perhaps Mary very close to all of these events that are unfolding in the Acts of the Apostles as they are being recounted to us. The Apostles, though they were mourning and weeping, they were grieving over Jesus. But what did they believe? as the women, as Mary Magdalene came to the tomb, as it came from the tomb to them. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. We know then that Peter and John, they run to the tomb and they look and they see and they find it empty. And then they go back and they tell the others and slowly they begin to understand that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Slowly they believe, well, maybe he truly has risen from the dead. He is alive. And as we'll hear tomorrow on Divine Mercy Sunday, on the second Sunday after Easter, we will hear that, uh, that, that Jesus appears to them, comes through that locked door in the upper room and speaks to them. They come to belief because they see, but then we know that Thomas isn't there. And we call Thomas doubting Thomas, but yet Mark is telling us when the women came, they did not believe. They too had their doubts. I think in our own life, we might have doubts about the veracity of faith and all of that. And so sometimes we have to ask the Lord, we have to pray the Lord to remove those doubts. We have to pray to the Lord like the apostles did in the Gospels, Lord, increase our faith so that truly we might believe in all of these things. It seems pretty incredible. A man dies on the cross and rises from the dead and walks among them and ends up eating with them and passes through doors. It seems like a fantasy. But we know, as we profess in the creed, that this is what we believe. And we allow that belief to come into those moments of doubt in our life so that what we know about Jesus that will strengthen us in those difficult moments. Really, as the apostles grieve, as they weep and mourn, well, so do we when we lose someone we love. We weep and mourn. But what can help us in that moment? Recalling the fact that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and he's ascended into heaven and he waits for us one day to join him in that place that he has prepared for all of us. Remove your doubt and come to believe. Gathered in prayer, united as believers, let us offer our prayers of petition. We pray for Pope Francis and his intentions and for an increase in the vocation to so the priesthood and the consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For peace in the world and for an end to all terrorism and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and for all our government leaders that they will protect and defend the fundamental right to life and religious freedom for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For strong marriages and family life, that couples will embrace their vocation by growing in love for each other and raising their children to be disciples in the faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, for the poor suffering souls in purgatory, we pray for the souls especially of priests, remembering today Father Bill Vandekreek, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our St. Joseph, St. Gabriel, St. Nicholas, and Guardian Angel Society members, for all of our listeners and supporters, that Our Lady of Guadalupe will intercede for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the intentions our listeners, who possess them in the depths of their heart, will be heard and joined to the prayers of the Blessed Virgin who brings them to her Son, risen and ascended in glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord our God, deepen our faith. Help us to believe as Mary believed. And help us to believe that the Lord Jesus hears our prayers, is active in our life, and wishes to give us all that we need to follow his will today until we join him one day in that kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously to make, these, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Peter and St. John, and with all the saints, in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, o merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. All of you who have been baptized in Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. The body of Christ. For those of you watching or listening, this would be a good time to make a spiritual communion. I wish, my Lord, to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your Most Holy Mother received you, with the spirit and the fervor of the saints.
let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Mass here on Relevant Radio today. I hope that you'll join us again tomorrow at the same time, noon central, for Mass. And be sure to join Father Rocky tonight on the Family Rosary Across America at 7 p.m. central. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Guard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. The prayer to Our Lady of Good Health to end the pandemic. O Lady of Good Health, our merciful Father chose you to be a powerful intercessor in times of trouble and woe, as in past centuries. When you have interceded to end contagious diseases, we implore you now to end the coronavirus, which is damaging the health of many and spreading fear in our communities. Teach us not to be afraid, to be courageous and generous in offering assistance to others, and to live joyfully in the state of grace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All honor earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, Everlasting is thy reign. Hark the loud celestial hymn. Angel choirs above are raising. Cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising. Fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Hey, what are you doing for the great feast of divine mercy? Never heard of it? Well, it's the last Sunday of the octave of Easter, and the Lord in his revelations to St. Faustina spoke of the extraordinary promises of this great day. Hi, I'm Drew Mariani. You know, the Lord told St. Faustina that on this day, the floodgates of his mercy would be open, that on this day, he would pour out a whole ocean of graces for those who approach the font of his mercy. And he attached some extraordinary promises to this special day. It is my favorite day of the year. Learn of the incredible promises that you can tap into on page 89 of my new book, Divine Mercy. You can get your free copy today. There's no shipping, no handling. Just simply go to relevantradio.com and tell a friend to do the same thing. That's relevantradio.com. Now, this is a limited time offer with a limited quantity of books, so don't wait. Also, 
Be sure and join Father Rocky and me for a special Divine Mercy Sunday celebration. That's the first Sunday after Easter. We'd love to celebrate with you.